Mark Kalor, a stablemate of Bruno's, and the experienced Glenn McEwen of Birmingham. The fight was scheduled for 12 rounds. We join it at the start of the second. Second jump, round two. Kalor wearing the hammer's colors, blue and red. In fact, at one time, Kalor had ideas of becoming a professional footballer. He was a very useful young footballer, and he thought he might join West Ham, but uh, boxing took uh, first preference. Oh, what a good right, and McEwen almost went, and now he has gone. He followed it up. Started the second round, 30 seconds in, and McEwen doesn't quite know where he is. He's only been stopped four times in his career, McEwen, but he's getting awfully close to the fifth. And Kaylor is going for the quick win now. And this round is young, it's not yet a minute old. Kuhn's made a good recovery, got out of that well, and that's why the crowd are clapping. But he looks shaken still. His mouth's open, his legs don't quite seem to belong to him. And Kalor's measured him again with the right hand. over halfway through this second round. Kalor's got plenty of time. Oh. He's going, he's going, and Jim Bribble's marched in to stop it, and Kalor has won the final eliminator for the British middleweight championship, and that is a tremendous performance against an experienced man. What a win by Kalor. 21 wins in succession now as a pro. That's the most important so far. He now is qualified for a crack at Roy Gums for the British Championship. And he's got rid of McEwen quite amazingly fast because it was generally thought that that could well go the full 12 rounds. And in fact, he's got rid of his man in not much more than a minute and three quarters of the second round. What a marvellous.